guys, it's Pokemon Worry Cat 13 here, and today, well, before we continue with the video, I'd like to thank you all for helping me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much, and you're all awesome people. So, I've decided to make a little special video for this little celebration, but not just one video though. No, no, no. The two videos. You may be wondering. What are the videos on? Or maybe you've already read the title, you little rebel. Either way, for these videos, I will be counting off my top 20 favorite Pokemon battle themes. Why 20? Well, I really wanted to give a lot of battle themes in Pokemon the spotlight, and it was really hard to choose, so that's why. And since there are 20, we might as well split up the video into two parts, since it might get to be pretty long. Okay, so what counts as a battle theme? Well, basically, the music you hear when you're having a Pokemon battle with a wild Pokemon, a gym leader, champion, etc. This list is also for a main series Pokemon game, so no spin-off titles allowed. Also, this list is my opinions. If you're offended by my opinions, I apologize ahead of time. These aren't meant to offend those people in which I make them mad because one theme didn't make it on the list or whatever. So, yeah. Well, without further ado, let us begin. Number 20, Team Aqua and Team Magma Battle. First off on our list is the lively and somewhat groovy Team Aqua and Team Magma Battle theme. Why groovy? Uh, just ask my friend. Friend. Who would the strongest grunt be? Maybe like... Do you like the music? Because I see that you're dancing. Yeah, I really like the music. It's really intense. <laughs> yeah. So, it's your standard evil team battle theme, but it's the best, in my opinion, of course. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald's version was pretty great, but Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire's version is really the best. It's got trumpets, a nice beat to it, and it's very lively, but a little serious at some points as well. There's definitely no reason why it shouldn't be on this list, so that's why it's here. Also, fun fact, this theme is a remix, more or less, of the Johto Trainer battle theme. It blew my mind when I found out, but if you listen to it sometime, then you'll see, or hear, I should say, why. Number 19, Champion Battle, Last Battle vs. Rival. It's epic, it's fast paced, it's intense, it's the best and final battle you'll ever have. Wow, this theme is pretty great. And even though it's not one of my most favorite champion themes, it's still awesome. When you're facing your rival, Gary, Blue, John, whatever you call them, you know that you're in for the best battle of your life as soon as this music starts playing. The rival who's been one step ahead of you ever since you started your journey. The one who's been a jerk to you. Now, with this awesome music playing, you finally get to show them that you're the best. Also, I'm sure the music would help you get pumped up because, well, it's just that awesome. Number 18, Deoxys Battle. What? A battle in space? <sighs> and with this music playing, you definitely feel like you are in space. Compared to Deoxys' Fire Red and Leaf Green version, the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire one feels more grand and epic. It's the perfect place to fight the space alien Pokemon creature. And this music fits the atmosphere perfectly. First, it's the beginning bells to the organ intro, and then the epic beat of the drums and the computer beats and that bass too. It sounds like something to come out of Star Trek or something like that. It's just that good. They really did a good job when remastering this tune for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because that's what a remaster does. It makes songs sound better. Number 17, X and Y Champion Battle. If you wanted to listen to a beautiful and underrated battle theme, then the X and Y Champion theme is the one you'll want to hear. 
Kalos. The region for X and Y was supposed to be about beauty, and this theme is what Kalos is about. Beauty. Heck. Even the champion Diantha is supposed to be beautiful since she is an actress. I don't really understand why people hate this theme, because it's a perfect representation of Kalos. It's peaceful at some points to beautiful to hardcore-ish. Also, when you hear me sing with the music of a Pokemon tune, Sorry, I can't help it. Then you know that I love it. Also, does anyone hear some hoeing somewhere in this? No? Just me? Okay. Number 16, Champion Steven Battle. Ah yes, the Hoenn Champion theme. Now, this is a tune that deserves to be on the list. It has some violins in it, a great step up from trumpets, and it's pretty epic and fast paced. It's not as hardcore as Blue's theme, but that's because Steven isn't your rival. No, 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 he's someone that has helped you throughout your journey in Hoenn, and was nice to you, unlike someone. Anyways, I think that this seems suits Steven since you know that he's a powerful trainer and that you will have to expect a challenge from him. His theme may not be so hardcore or so beautiful, but it's supposed to fit him. After all, that's what champion themes are like. They're supposed to fit the person you're facing in battle, correct? Number 15, Primal Pokemon Battle. Okay, when I first heard this tune in Omega Ruby, it totally blew me away because when I heard the GBA sound fonts in it, I just went ballistic. This theme is good at representing how powerful Kyogre and Groudon are in their primal forms, but it also helps to remind us that these guys are still the same Pokemon that we had to catch as kids. If you ever played Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, that is. If not, then I don't know what to say for you. I also know that Rayquaza has its own version of the scene, but the Primal version is the better of the two. You know you're facing some powerful and hard to catch legendaries as soon as you hear this epic tune. As I said, this tune reminds us that these are still the same Kyogre and Groudon, but just more destructive. Number 14, guess this battle, Black 2 and White 2. When you hear those beginning vocals of the theme saying his name over and over, you know that you just made him mad and now he wants his revenge on you. You don't just hear the vocals once at the beginning though, you hear them throughout the entire song with a powerful percussion section to back them up. They like his fellow evildoers of Team Plasma, cheering him on, and you have to stand up to the pressure and fear that is Get sis. His black and white battle theme though was a bit underwhelming, but when they came out with this monster from Black 2 and White 2, you just gotta hope that you survive the battle. Even though you fooled his plans, he'll do whatever it takes to eliminate you, even if he has to take you down with his own hand. Not hands, hand. Number 13, Hoenn Elite 4 Battle. Oh yes, this theme. Now, in a Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, this theme didn't really have very good first impressions on me. Well, it did, but it didn't. So I was expecting a lot out of it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but as soon as I heard the intros to it, I just loved it right away. <laughs> Plus, there's lots of trumpets in this theme, so they definitely did a good job with that. Okay, I know that there's a lot of Hoenn themes on this list, but this is the last one you'll see for this video part. Anyways, so they improved on it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I find this Elite Four theme to be the best. It's intense, but not too intense. 
the battles here are hard, so they're basically a warm-up for you when it comes time for you to fight the champion. Number 12, Giratina Battle. Oh, Giratina, you little devil you. You and your badass theme. I swear, when you're fighting Giratina and you hear this theme, you better watch out. You basically are fighting the devil itself, or Satan, or a scorpion, ghost dragon, whatever it is. Which is very cute, by the way. But... Whatever Giratina is, its theme is pretty intense and hardcore. There's drums, beeps, and an eerie flute that makes this piece of music not only sound creepy, but menacing as well. Not only that, but there's a tempo change for a bit. Basically, it's fast paced, and then it starts slowing down. Like, it slows down when it uses shadow force, it disappears in the shadows, and then it pops out as soon as it starts going fast paced again. Even though this theme is a bit unearthly, it won't change the fact that Giratina is my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. Number 11, Unova Legendary Pokemon Battle. And now, to end off the video for the day, we have this theme coming in at number 11. Now, this piece is very well put together. It's very fast-paced and very tense. Why is it tense? Because these legendary Pokemon are hard to catch. Not only that, but all of them are pretty fast as well. Now, remember when I said yeah, Giratina's theme has a tempo change or two? Well, this theme has a lot of tempo changes. From going at a good speed, to speeding up, to even more slowing down and speeding up again, not to mention those off-key piano notes that play. This theme represents the struggle and the intensity and insanity of catching Pokemon. When you think you've caught it, the music slows down and then it breaks out of that timer ball and the music starts to speed up again as you get frustrated when you didn't catch the Pokemon. This music demonstrates that perfectly. Well, that's all for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And next time, you will see me with part two of this musical countdown, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace. Bye-bye, guys. I love you all.